what is up savages this is Vishu from savage cam and today we are going to learn how to change the default timing in grub but what is grub this menu that you are seeing over here and this timer you are seeing is called the grub menu so you saw a default timer of 5 seconds which is the default one and over here we are going to change the time it takes to boot this up to 1 second instead of 5 and this is the kernel that we select so grub basically gives you an option to boot into different kernels if you have it but we only have a single kernel so we don't want to wait for 5 seconds for this to boot now this is very basic personal preference if you want to wait 15 seconds you can change it too but I'm going to show you how to change it for from 5 seconds to 1 second. So for any configuration changes you need to be root. So I'm going to log in as root. And the first thing I'm going to do is change the grub file which is in etc default grub. So this is your default grub file and you see over here grub timeout. So I'm going to change this to 1 and I'm going to save and quit and once I have written this this is not over so we have changed the default file for grub so we have to build the grub file again and you can do that using grub2 hyphen make config so once you run this this will make a new grub file with a default timer of 1 now the third step the most important step over here is you have made a new file but you have to point this file to the default file that your kernel uses so that one is going to be in your slash boot grub2 grub.cfg so what we are basically saying is the new file that we made using grub2 make config which is this file over here this is just the file on your operating system we have to point this file we have to make the contents of this file go into the default grub.cfg file that your linux kernel uses to boot so grub2 make config this file we are going to put it inside slash boot grub2 grub.cfg so once you do this, it is going to generate the grub file, put it in that configuration file and you see it done over here. So this is completed. So I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to run this command which is cat slash boot grub2 grub.cfg and I'm going to grab for timeout. And over here you can see the timeout is one second which we changed if we check the etc default grub file so timeout is one we are also seeing the timeout as one in grub.cfg so i'm going to reboot this host so right over here we will have to pay attention as it will automatically boot in one second just to show you i will change it to 15 seconds so everyone can have a look and i can do the process again The first step is to go into etc default grub and I'm going to add 15 over here. Save and quit then clear the screen generate the file again and this time I'm just going to append it to slash boot grub2 and grub.cfg and once this is completed I can do a cat on the same file and I can grab for timeout and you can see over here the timeout is 15 so I'm going to reboot and you can see 15 seconds is the default timeout now so that is it for this video if you have any doubts please put it in the comment section always remember to make the grub file again and append it to slash boot grub grub to grub.cfg so i will see you guys in the next video keep liking and subscribing my videos